Before you begin throwing, you want to make sure that your tool arm is moved out of the way of the bat head. There's also a handy dial here you can use to tighten or loosen the play in your wheel arm. Move it out to the side. You take your ball of clay that you've prepared and you want to press it into the center or as close to the center of your bat as possible. I like to give it a few taps, press it down. And this will help it stay onto the bat as you begin throwing. You have a couple of dials on the side of your wheel. On the left hand side you have a clockwise and counterclockwise switch and on the right hand side you have your power, one for slow speed and two for high speed. When you are centering you want to use number two, high speed. And if you are right handed you want the dial on the left hand side to be going counterclockwise. If you are left handed you want the dial to be in the clockwise position. Once you have that dial set your tool arm out of the way and your clay on the bat you want to wet your fingers just a little bit. I just dip my fingertips and I kind of rub a little bit of water onto my hands and I put a little bit, a little bit onto the clay. And then I begin by turning my wheel on to speed two, high speed four centering. I take my left hand and I'm going to, before I start using the tool arm, I press down and I take my right hand, because I am right handed, and I just try to seal the clay to the bat. If my fingers begin to stick, I get a little bit more water. My left hand is beginning to stick, so I'll add a little more water here. And remember, a little goes a long way. I grab the tool arm in my dominant hand, and I use my other hand to support the clay on the outside edge. I'm going to get a little bit more water. You have a sponge that came in your kit, and it's helpful sometimes to just get a little bit of moisture in there and just drip a little bit of water onto your clay. You use your tool arm, bring it across your body and against the clay as you hold your other hand on this edge of the clay. Now your wheel may slow down a little bit as you are centering, but it's because you are forcing that clay into a centered motion. A little more water on. I am using this portion of my hand to help hold the clay and help it center. And remember, this is the hardest part of the process. It may take a little while. Where your centering tool hits the side of the clay, you may need to add a little bit of water there as well. I'm going to use my thumb to help smooth out the top. And I hold this centering tool steady as the clay moves towards center. You are aligning all the particles in the clay into a centered motion. And remember, any movements you do on your clay should be smooth and gentle. Any sudden movements can throw the clay off center. So you want to be gentle with your clay as you're centering. Put a little more water on there. And I am just about centered. Once the centering tool is rotating smoothly around your piece, your clay is centered. You want to turn off the wheel, raise up the tool arm, and remove the centering tool. Press out a little bit on these clips and pull down and the centering tool comes off.